Last week I visited Budapest. In this video I will learn you how to make edits like this on your phone. From zero to hero in CapCut for free. Open CapCut on your phone once downloaded. Create a new project. I created a folder on my phone named Budapest. And this folder is the example footage that I will use. So select all footage that you'd like to import in the project. It will be added on a timeline in the same chronology as you select the files. So this is what we have now. It's all immediately on a sequence. At the end is a watermark. You can just click on that and then delete it if you don't want it to be included. This is the first video clip. I will just show you how to trim it. Just select a clip and then swipe at the start or the end to trim. All gaps close automatically so there are no black holes. Let's trim the second clip as well. Select it and trim this. It's that easy. If you want to delete some clips, just select it and delete. After some trim and delete work, this is what we have right now. Sometimes you can notice slight shocks in the camera movement, and the camera movement is not always completely straight. I want these shocks to disappear, so select a clip. Then search for Stabilize. Click on this tool and then click on Recommend it. That's the third option. Click on the check mark and it will be stabilized. It works super good. Now there aren't shocks anymore in the movement. I've done this for some more clips and this is what the sequence looks like now. You can see the icon on the clips that are stabilized. These ones aren't stabilized yet, you can clearly see the difference. Now I will show you how to color grade the clips. Let's color grade the first clip. Select it, then search for adjust. Click on the tool. Here are several functions to color grade the clips. Just color grade it to your favor. When you're ready with the first clip, you can click on Apply to All. Now this grading is added to all the other clips. From here, you can continue to adjust the color grading of each clip separately. You can notice that the sliders have the same values as the first clip. You can adjust it from here and the first clip won't be affected. After color grading all clips, everything looks like this. If you want to move clips, press it and move it. I don't want the clips to have sound. All you need to do for that is select a clip, go to volume and put the volume at zero. You need to do this for each clip individually. All clips have zero volume now. I want to make a voiceover. Click on record. Press this icon. After the timer, you can enter your voiceover. Last week I visited Budapest. Here's our voiceover. It says, last week I visited Budapest. You can trim and move it. Let's place it a little further than the start because I want to make a video transition at the start of the clip soon. If you'd like to adjust the volume, you can click on the waveform. And you can do it here. If you want to make subtitles, you can do that in the text function. Click auto caption. It will create subtitles from the voiceover. It doesn't work 100% perfect, so we will need to adjust it. But it goes a lot quicker than fully typing it manually. Here we have the text. You can modify it by clicking here. Let's give it a capital. Change this to I and write Budapest correctly. You can add some emojis as well. Let's take the Hungarian flag. You can redesign the look and feel of the text in style. Let's choose another font. I'll go with elegant. Let's give it outlines in style as well. And change the color to red. Now it looks like this. While standing on the text, you can go to animations. Here you can see some animate in effects and animate out effects. Let's start with an in effect. The ones where isn't pro on it are free. Let's take this one as an in animation. 
We'll add an animation to make the text disappear as well, so that's an out animation. Let's take this one. Now the text looks like this. Let's add an effect at the start. You can click on animation. Here are a bunch of animations, including some free ones. Choose an effect. Now it looks like this. If you'd like to add a sound effect like a whoosh, you can go to audio and then effects. Here you have some good sound effects. If you search for a whoosh, you will get some whooshes. You can click on them to play them. Click on plus if you'd like to use it. Now this blue layer is the whoosh effect. Everything looks like this now. Click on effects, cause we are going to add some video effects. Here's a full gallery of video effects. I'll take the butterfly dream. Now the effect is added. You can move it as well. I added some more effects and it looks like this now. I added the text with the end as well. If you would like to add a song, you can click on audio and then sounds. Here a whole list of music is available. You can listen to it by clicking on it. And you can add the song by clicking on plus. The whole song is here as an audio clip now. You can move and trim it. But I'll just delete it, cause I prefer to add sounds in the app where I upload the clip. I added some more effects. A glowy effect and a lens effect. You can find them in video effects in the same function as where we have added the butterfly effect. Here is a full sequence. Let's export it now. My footage is full HD and 30 FPS. Click here to export. Once exported, you can click on Share to TikTok, for example. The app is in Dutch, but here you can click on Add Sound. Here you can pick a song. In Volume, you can adjust the volume of the music. Then click on Apply. If you choose Next, everything is ready to post. Last week I visited Budapest. 